Reaction is still pouring in the day after thousands of protesters took to the streets of Toronto, demanding justice for all the black lives lost at the hands of police. An unbelievable turnout that got the attention of city leaders, who today expressed relief that the protests remained peaceful. This is not about performance. This is about action. Powerful scenes emerging in a city of people determined to make their voices heard against systemic racism. We are not a threat. Mirroring worldwide demonstrations against police brutality, the scenes in Toronto left leaders in disbelief. It was obvious there was a lot of heart in them, a lot of uh, emotional fatigue, anguish, uh, and, and, uh, and determination. No Toronto Police Chief Mark Saunders tweeting in part, Your message was powerful. We have the greatest city in the world. Next step action. But with calls to defund the police, they need to reinvest that money in the community. We asked the mayor if that's a step he's considering taking. I think these kinds of, uh, of, of uh, you know, catchphrases are seem attractive perhaps on the uh, surface because, you know, the police budget is very big. Uh, but having said all that, if you start going down the list of people and saying, well, what would you cancel first? Would you cancel community policing? These are where the increases go. The city and Toronto police heightened preparation all week in anticipation of violence that never came to be. The march is showing strength in numbers alone. I've got to give credit to the protesters. A Torontonian response has been heard. It's been very peaceful. Fears of riots even prompting businesses in the downtown core to board up. A response never before seen in this city. You have to prepare for the worst and you hope for the best. Uh, and I think that's what businesses have done. With more protests anticipated this week, they'll remain boarded up for now. Despite being boarded up, the young downtown BIA says a number of businesses were handing out water and PPE to protesters, making sure they were part of the important conversations and the movement taking place. For City News, I'm Tina Yazdani.